Hey guys, this is me, Honda6951, and today I'm going to show you the updated version of my Tesla coil. As you can see, there have been some improvements. I have actually covered all the circuitry in this plastic sheet so no one can see. Those are the MMC capacitors. This is the main spark gap right there, and that's the spark gap for the capacitor. If the voltage gets too high, it does, it does not destroy uh, the NST, which is uh, right there. It's actually a 15,000 volt, 30 milliamp neon sign transformer. And as you can see, I've decreased the coils. Uh, now I have 8 coils, but the tuning point is right here. It's 6.28. So that's when I get the maximum amount of spark output from the toroid. And as you can see, the toroid is also decreased. I wasn't getting a lot of, you know, sparks output. So one day I actually decided to remove the toroid and then turn on the Tesla coil. And I actually saw, you know, good one foot sparks. So then I just replaced it with a you know, ball and then covered it with aluminum foil and just put it there. So this is the updated version. I have also applied some clear coat to the coil and some electrical tape here because I was, I was seeing sparks from this point and this spark was actually a black spot that might have been a hole in a wood or I don't know a connection, a broken connection. So yeah, this works now and it doesn't, the sparks don't come from here, the sparks come from the toroid. Let's turn it up the power supply that I'm using right now we live in Middle East so the mains is 230 volts and the transformers primary is designed for 120 volts that's why I'm using an inverter and this is going to lower down the voltage to 110 volts so let's turn it on since I don't have any filters to you know lower the sound of the spark gap I'm just going to use these earbuds to protect my ears because the spark gets really loud and it actually hurts so yeah be safe. Let's turn it on. One, two, three. Four. That's the capacitor. That's the spark gap on the capacitor right there. If there's a very high voltage, that's spark to save the NFT. I can feel the impact from here. Alright, let's try putting some things on the toroid. The first and tube, let's see what happens. Damn! This is just a regular bulb. Let's see what happens. Whoa! You can see the odd one inside the bulb is excited. It looks really cool. It's like a big bulb. It's the 100 watt bulb. Whoa. This is awesome. It's a fluorescent tube and it has mercury in it so it will glow. And glow is done. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, rate, comment and subscribe so you can keep in touch with me. And yeah, thanks for watching.